Hi guys, it's Amy from AM Sanctuary. I'm a Glitter Bells ambassador and you can use my code AMYM for money off your orders. I've already gone in and done all my prep work on my natural nails and applied my clear base. I'm then going in with Pretty Pudding, which is one of the new Glitter Bells colours that's been released recently. I'm just using a really thin wet layer just as a base colour for my nail as I'll be going in with something over the top of them. Which, by the way, you are going to love. It's a colour I am absolutely obsessed with at the minute. I'm using Hema Free Monomer for this set as I do on all of my nails as I'm allergic to Hema which is in Monomer. I make sure that I use this on all of my clients as well just to make sure that we don't have any allergies or reactions that my client didn't know about. I'm also using my Glitterbell's original size 12 brush for this set. It's my go-to brush, it just picks up a really really lovely bead. After applying the Pretty Pudding to all of my nails, I'm now going in with Diamond Veil, which is another new one that was released recently. And you can just see how incredible it is. It's honestly one of my absolute favorites. And when we're back open from lockdown, I'm gonna be throwing it on everybody. Absolutely everybody. It can go over any color. I've used quite, um, quite a big bead of it just so that I can get a full coverage but you could use a smaller bead and that would just give a little shimmer to any kind of colour that you've got underneath. It's, oh, it's so gorgeous. I just can't, I can't even explain it. I'm also just showing you here how thinly I'm working with the design. It's really important to try and keep your designs as thin as possible so that when you come to cap your nail in clear at the end of your design set, the nail is kept as thin as possible and you've not got a big bulky nail on the end of your finger. This is just another quick angle here, just to show you how thinly I'm actually working with the design. It's so important to try and keep it as thin as possible, guys. So off camera, I've capped all of my nails in glass slippers, which is the clear from Glitter Bells. I've not bothered much with my thumb. I filed it a little bit, but with the lockdown, I could hear my children causing havoc for Joe inside. So I decided to just stick to four nails and I'll let him off the duties quicker. The gel polishes that I'm using are Cutie Crunch, Psycho and Sweet, White Gloss and Spare Mint. I'm also using my um, Glitter Bells nail art brushes. They are incredible and they are so pretty. They've got little bits of glitter in and a liquid in the handle so when you turn them they look like a lava lamp and I am obsessed with them. For this design I'm picking up different coloured gel polishes on my brush and gently dragging them down the nail in like a swooshing motion. This gives a lovely, really nice marble effect that's quite effortless. And then any gaps in the colour, I'm just taking my fine detailer brush and I'm adding some more colour just before popping it in the lamp to cure. On my index finger, I didn't really know what I was going to do, so I decided to do some cute clouds on there. I mix white gloss and Psycho and Sweet together and just dab some on my nail. I then used my brush in a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of acetone just to disperse the gel on my nail so that it had a nice faded look and it was more like a real cloud rather than a hard blocked coloured cloud. I think this gives it a really gorgeous effect. 
the best thing about this technique is you can keep going in and adding more colours over the top of it until you're happy with it. So I then carried on and added a little bit of white into there to try and make my clouds more three dimensional. I then think I went back into the pinks a little bit and added a little bit more right at the bottom. It just helps to give that realistic a look of the clouds. When I was happy with how my clouds were looking, I gave it one final look before popping in the lamp for 30 seconds to cure. I'm now starting to create my barbed wire nail that has had so much interest on Instagram. I honestly can't believe that you all liked it so much. I completely winged it. I had the inspiration off another nail tech, which I'll post in the description. Her, her original barbed wire design was incredible. I just had to give it a go myself. And I hope I did it justice, but it seemed very popular with you guys. So I've added it into this set. To begin with, I'm just using my fine detailer brush and the gel polish Graham to just mark the outline of my barbed wire, just so that I know where I'm gonna outline before committing to the black lines. I actually then decided I didn't like what I drew, so I wiped it off and started again. But that's fine because, you know, we're all human, we all make mistakes, just wipe it off and start again. I was much happier with this one, so I popped it in the lamp for 30 seconds and cured it. I'm now just using black gloss, which is incredible for any nail art as it's so pigmented. And I'm just outlining my barbed wire. Um, I'm then gonna go over with a different color, which you'll see me do in a minute, but I do prefer to just add that thin black line just before I add any more detail so that I know where to fill it in properly. In a minute you'll notice ever so slightly my camera quality changes that's because my phone died and i had to use my other phone which isn't it's, it's not great for videoing which is why i tend to use my other one but when i was happy with the black i popped that in the lamp again for 30 seconds and cured i've then gone in with glitter bell silver sparkle for the color of my barbed wire I like to do a sparkly barbed wire, I just think it's really effective. I'm not sure why, I think it was what the other girl did. I'm really sorry, I can't remember her Instagram name, but I will, as I said before, pop her in my description box below when I'm finished. You don't have to be overly neat when filling it in because I am going to then use my really thin fine liner brush and just go over it neatly again with the black. This is just so that I know exactly where my colour's going and I know where to fill it in again properly when I come to do the final outline for it. So here you can see I am just going over it again thinly with my Glitter Bells fine liner brush. I'm just making sure that there's no glitter going over the black and so that my black is a nice solid outline so that my barbed wire is nice and defined.
When I was finished doing my black outline and I was 100% happy with it, made any little adjustments that I might have needed, I popped it in my lamp and cured it again for 30 seconds. I'm now just going in with a dotting tool and white gloss to add some um, little dots onto my nails and I was then taking my fine liner brush before curing them and just picking a few of them to be stars and I do that by flipping my brush upside down sometimes um, and flicking upwards like I'm doing here just so that the line is as thin as possible and then you do that on all four angles of the star. This gives a nice even um, what's the word, distribution of gel so that your star looks more like it's shining rather than it's a big white cross on your finger. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> When I was finished with those, again, I put my hand in the lamp for 30 seconds to cure them and I'm just finishing each nail now with my Glitter Bells No White Top Coat, which is my favourite top coat in the whole wide world. It's so shiny, honestly the best one that I've used. You can purchase yours on the Glitter Bell site and use my code AMYM for money off your orders. Okay, so here's the finished look guys. If you did like the video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and head over to my Instagram and drop me a follow. Thank you.